Here we're looking at the instruction sheet for this assignment using relative polar coordinate entry for drawing an object. If you don't have this uh, instruction sheet, you should download it and print it so that you have it as a reference while you're working. In working with relative polar coordinates, you can see we have our angle compass down here in the corner. And a line that extends to the left is considered to be an angle of zero. If I rotate around my compass in a positive direction, this is counterclockwise, resulting in positive angle measurements, 90, 180, 270. If I were to rotate in a clockwise direction, this would be considered negative angle measurements. So 270 degrees would be the same as negative 90. Looking at my drawing, I can see that my start point is at the absolute coordinate value of 2 comma 2. Once I've established this starting point, then I can use relative polar coordinate entry to enter each of the lines. So the format is that I would start with the at symbol. I would enter that from the keyboard to let AutoCAD know that I'm using relative coordinates. That is, that I'm measuring from my last point. And then I would put in the distance. In this case, it would be 2. Then I would use my angle of, which is the lesser than symbol from the keyboard, and then I would put in the angle. In this case, it would be at 2, angle of 0. To enter the next endpoint, I would start with the at symbol. I would put in the distance. This is 5.06, angle of and in this case I can see I have 165 degrees across the this side of the angle. That means that between 0 and this line I would have an angle of 15 degrees. So it's 15 degrees in the positive direction and so I would, I would put in 15 degrees. So now from point 3 I would have to enter the relative polar coordinate values for the next endpoint at point 4. In this case, I would put in the distance of 1.5 and the angle of 90 degrees. So working my way from endpoint to endpoint, I would put in the relative values and work my way around the outside of my object. I'm going to start a new drawing and for my template, rather than using one of these uh, predetermined templates that are in the AutoCAD template file, I'm going to go to my AutoCAD files and I have a template of my own that I'm going to use. I'm using my own template because it has a layout already made. So we'll start in model space and I know that for my drawing, my start point is absolute coordinate value of 2 comma 2. And that starts. Now I'm just for a moment I'm going to turn off dynamic input so that I can use my relative polar coordinate entry. And I know that I start with at my dis first distance is 2 and angle of 0. With that entered I hit enter and that draws my first line segment. Now let's turn dynamic input on. By default, dynamic input is made for putting in relative polar coordinate entry. So my next line segment is 5.06. Rather than putting the at symbol, I'm just going to enter 5.06. And you can see that it already has the angle information is in the next box. So to move to the next box I'm going to hit the tab key and that prompts me to input the angle. In this case we said it was 15 degrees and I hit enter and I've entered that relative polar coordinate entry. My next line 
goes up at 90 degrees at, with a distance of 1.5. So I'm just going to directly enter 1.5, tab, angle of 90, enter. So the quick way to enter your relative polar coordinates is just to use dynamic input, enter your distance, hit the tab, enter your angle, and hit enter. So I'm going to work my way around the outside of my object. Now when using dynamic input, you'll notice the way the angle gets counted. Here I am, I'm in positive value. 127 goes all the way around to 180 and once I pass 180 degrees you notice that my angle now starts counting again in a positive value back around to my beginning point. So in dynamic input I work in 180 degree segments. So in this case I want a line that is three units long and I'll hit the tab and in this case if I say 90 degrees with my line down in this segment and hit enter, it's going to draw it. So dynamic input changes the rules a little bit of how your angle compass works. So when you've finished your object, if you want to check this to see if your uh, size and uh, entries were correct, we can go to Utilities and Measure. I'm going to go ahead and pick a point. Now I want to make sure that my snap is turned on so that I can snap to the endpoints of the line. I'm going to snap to these first two and then I'm given some options. I'm going to find the area. So from here I'm going to snap to the endpoint of each of these line segments. When I've finished, I will hit enter and you can see that we have an area of 51.3427 and a perimeter is given. So see if that matches the object that you've just drawn. If not, then you've made an error somewhere in your relative input.